Thank you, Lisa, and thank you to all NCS uh, 23 uh, community uh, for the invitation on this um, series. Do you have it? Um, today, on behalf of the International Energy Agency EORTCP, a technology collaboration program, um, working on the knowledge transfer and how with the synergy we are working today on the different options that uh, come together with the energy challenges we have today. Today, uh, I will have to bring uh, going deep, going hot uh, as geothermal cases from modeling to competence development, uh, like part of portfolio and is a complete new adventure that we have been working on. Why this is coming today? Because it's the reframing power uh, of how we are working on the EOR that we come uh, working on the, this type of energy optimization recovery, put together um, a net zero ecosystem that comes related to natural solutions, emissions, circular economy, hydrogen, energy storage, CCUS, CCS included, where renewables with geothermal is a case. Um, that is completely aligned that we have been working on these sustainable development scenarios of the 17 SDGs that uh, have become and be part of our knowledge from the subsurface and surface condition that we have been developed for our different communities our, around the world. And that is something that today I would like to put together from an, uh, our knowledge scope that we have been bringing from the emerging uh, technologies, dynamic reservoir characterization and thermal recoveries, fluids and interfaces and surfactants and polymers from the enhanced soil recovery to an energy optimization option where this energy recovery with CO2 abatement with subsurface is something that is coming related uh, with what our countries from our TCP technology collaboration program are working, but is where this type of synergy like heat transfer and geothermal will become as part of the options some of our countries are working on. So with this, um, I would like to switch to our geothermal case that is a source of energy that we have in our surface and underground. And this will come related uh, to the heat transfer given by the different formations we have it in our different basins around the world. And this is come from all the continents that we can have this type of energy that in some of our lands have been become like volcanoes and our special um, spring and high temperature water uh, formations options as we come into the information do we have it. Why we start this type of technology is coming part of the synergy between the energy EOR option is because the value all the new uh, energy alternatives halves on the levels, leverage cost of the selected technologies. We have been seen on nuclear and photovoltaic, uh, geothermal, uh, binary geothermal dual flashing, hydroelectrics and wind. And geothermal has a good case from the subsurface that can give value and as well a liberalized cost that will be a proper way that put this value that we have on our understanding of the subsurface into the equation, into the volumes of economics, into the option of risk management, and as well into the alternative of the uh, condition that we are going to be working on. And how these uh, options on geothermal will come from the basin and from the uh, different play where do we have geothermal uh, conductive systems? is something that uh, come from different intratronic basin type, orogenic bay type, and uh, related with the type of basement are going to be related. And that is something that can be conveyed to surface or can be connected with the hydrothermal or with dry hot rock that is the subsurface interface knowledge that we should put in our equation. As some of the worldwide basins have been already put this knowledge, on incratatons, passive margin, margin basins, sedimentary aquifers, high porosity, low permeability conditions, but as well a special um, hot intrusive rocks with low porosity and low permeability on the spectro from these three main types of conductive systems. So we start to think and talk now about aquifers, about porosity, about permeability, about basins. This comes familiar to what do we have it already in our subsurface knowledge. And 
put this one onto the frame of the NCS 2030 is something that we have been discussed on the previous events and activities working together and the synergy from the different R&Ds. But we have as well from conductivity systems, we have a competitive systems that come related to the different type of volcanoes with the intrusion type or with the extensional domain type. That's come, come related to a special basins like Java, like Lardarello, uh, like options that do we have uh, around the world, with mathematics and ocean rich options come with hot spot points. And that will be in function of some John time option with orogeny or post orogeny phases and how the complex metamorphic coming uh, after the different segregation of the inter intracontinental crats. So these competitive systems can come on the options to put together the magmatic chambers with a T-vulcanism, the recent plutoniums or recent extensional domains. So that is something that put together these two place scenarios from the conductivity and from the competitive systems. How we integrate these geothermal resources, that is a natural resources as our oil and gas coming from the subsurface, is part of the alternative that come from the nature. And we have been facing some thermal waters, some hot streams, some geysers, some mud volcanoes, some volcanoes that come into the natural resources. But as well with our oil and gas industry, and with our different basin development and the wells we have been constructed, we have artificial connected resources that come related to our vertical or horizontal wells that we have been created at different thermal gradients do we have it. So how we're going to extract this type of energy or how we are going to put this energy together, that is the option related to technology and how we can get the maximum value of it uh, looking forward to have this uh, option to have the energy equation with the volumes on options on economics and risk management to put in our platforms, to put in our oil fields, either onshore or offshore, uh, to do this option. So low enthalpy option correlated to heat transfer alternatives that correlated to heat processes advantage is like a uh, the alternate option we have it around the world today taking uh, advantage and a lot of investment about options of waste heat transfer to energy where alternatives that can come with different temperatures or options can handle low enthalpy and can generate energy that will be uh, in a range below 80 degrees that come related uh, to uh, 80 degrees Celsius and how we can take this energy from the different water resources. But that is something that we put in our chain value, not only for upstream, but as well from midstream or downstream conditions as we use our facilities, our processes already, and we connect it into the uh, energy uh, chain value Do we have it. Do we have as well medium enthalpy options that come together on how we're going to put uh, our assets and uh, wells clusters, do we have it either in onshore or offshore alternatives that we need to put into a gener generator and how we're going to, to put on the options or to have electrical supply that come related to the energy that we can deliver from our subsurface in medium enthalpy. This goal related from 80 to 120 degrees Celsius and it's something that we can put on the options that we can work in. And as well, we have high enthalpy options as the basins come with the thermal gradients where these uh, thermal gradients has uh, thermal anomalies. There are zones around the world related to these convective and conductive systems that can, can challenge us to take this energy to put towards on the way to generate our resources from the surface. So, this is the ecosystem from the surface and surface that we should integrate it in our knowledge and how we're going to put in our uh, different resources and technology options. And today the world is having working how put it this surface at the different ranges of the aquifer systems and the different ranges that have it on the geothermal reservoir 
aquifer system. And they will come related to the different technology alternatives coming to direct use to a special option on hot sedimentary aquifers, oil and gas production and co-production that today we are facing new technologies, new startups working on this uh, range and put all together the processes and taking the advantage that we already had these artificial sources, as we see on the previous slide. And this one can correlate to use on the wellhead temperature, the range of temperatures that come between 75 degrees Celsius to 160 degrees Celsius um, on some of the basins around the world we have it. But as well, do we have for these high enthalpy options come together EGS system and conventional hydro turbine that have been around the world since uh, the history of Rome, since the history that have been created our different um, communities and social uh, requirements of energy around the world. How we come and this world system come into the flaws? Is something that we take the energy from the, our reservoirs. It's come a, re, a geothermal reservoir energy that come related to a connection with the production and injection wells. This come through a pump system and it's coming into the heat exchanger. These heat exchangers use a special technology like ORC, organic cycle, that uh, have been uh, put on the place uh, from times ago, but today have been challenged with new materials, new heat transfer options, and more efficient systems to degree the range of temperature and to have more energy in place for the different processes. So put together the generator, the condenser, and the cooling tower is something that now we are facing su surface and surface. And that's the challenge, how I put these different elements and the different stage to change the subsurface energy that today has become as mechanical energy with new manners of technology to put into a converted electrical energy to the grid. And is where the ecosystem with the grid energy will be part of the options we are going to put it. So doing this case is something that subsurface and surface knowledge it's very important to put together on the scenarios. And in the, in the surface equation, there are different topics and technologies related where dry steam power plants, flash steam power plants, flash steam options, uh, more robust with separate wells, with interconnect wells, can as well with binary cycle power plants, come a different alternative. How this hot water come? Is on an, is come on steam or is come on hot water? And steam is an option that we already have been facing in our tertiary recovery. We have been doing a lot of steam processes and heavy oil systems that uh, help us to understand more about them. So doing this conversion to have this hot water or this steam to a new system to generate electricity is the challenge do we have it. And actually, I saw some jobs that have been doing on Stavanger University with the poster section that uh, coming on this way to have uh, the use or reuse of this type of cycle hot water options here in Norwegian fields. How we put all these processes together? This has to come with the subsurface, surface knowledge, but as well has to be with the value giving related to the different asset development and how we are going to deliver the oil field asset or the geothermal asset to put it on the upstream resources to the downstream plan operation with construction that require technology, that require knowledge. And that is coming from the World Bank Group where this surface reconnaissance that we have been working a lot in our surface and surface condition, this exploratory and drilling option that our fields have been already facing. And production drilling is part of the question that we can put already into the analysis that we have been doing. But how as well are going to include in the downstream part, a power plant related with the new technologies that the European community and United States is developed today to put all this heat uh, transfer option is something that we are working from the conventional manner to a geothermal perspective. So 
all these new technologies that we're looking into completions, that uh, do we have it, uh, special materials, that we are studying a lot how we can extend the life of our asset or our wells on the, this block and abandon and research with 17 jobs, with materials for uh, conductive systems. It's something that before block and ab ab abandon a well, we can have more value from these wells. So that is something that we have been already started around the world. And I bring the case of Colombia, where uh, in the company I work for, I have been uh, a study and working on this since uh, now quite close four years now, bringing the knowledge from our different oil field assets with the different geothermal uh, options that do we have it in our country. That's completed. The yellow ones are the low um, medium enthalpy and the red ones are the high enthalpy where volcanoes are located. So do we have these sources and if we overlap oil production assets with geothermal opportunities. Yes, it is. There are some uh, areas or some spots that can come together on the question that can uh, bring geothermal into the assets. So let's start and work on what is some onto the modeling we can put together. And that's what we did. There is already a special um, circular uh, from the United States that I invite you uh, to go and visit. Uh, and it's part of our screening and the methodology from the model simulation we put already in place, where this uh, 1790 USGS geothermal resource assessment volumetric method bring uh, the different options of the understanding the reservoir, the properties, the data integration and analysis from heat reservoir with porosity, permeability, thinness, with where I can conduct the different fluids and at the different depths of conditions working on options. So understand this heat transfer, the options of porosity, permeability, the thickness, and the condition of the reservoir is going to give a huge value of the understanding of the flows of heat. And this heat flows is something that we should put in our play definition, which will convey with the a common risk mass assessment where the different risks related to the production of this type of energy should be put on forward to make it the hot spots with target definitions, how geothermal prospective area definition will come together. So in that way, this modeling has been in place and has been already working on the different uh, scenario as has been happening around the world. We have been taking the successful cases from uh, Italy, China, and United States, where there have been already some surface studies related to how this heat transfer come on the options to put together, and some of the countries part of the international EORTCP. So doing this uh, analysis and putting together what do we have it at the different basins, we can found it that yes, do we have in a main asset area Temperatures on the wellhead about 80 degrees Celsius, either achieving 120, 125 degrees Celsius on the wellhead. So how I can make this possible energy come in is something that we should understand about source surface knowledge that we have been acquired from the water geochemistry, from the water circulation and origin of the different basins, and as well, the different mathematical activity and sedimentary basins options, as we see from the conductive and from the convective systems to put basin, source, flows, and option to generate energy in the equation. So reuse the oil and gas business and to surface knowledge is something that we already have been worked. We have been created uh, different simulation models, uh, workflows models uh, related to uh, these alternatives that come related. Soon we're going to do a pilot test uh, uh, from our site, but there are already some uh, pilots going on uh, for our other companies in country that have been already uh, challenged this type of energy at the different basins and with the different knowledge we have it from geochemistry, from circulation of water, flooding and as well from the different basins do we have into the knowledge. And here to have a production field 
connected with the main facilities, with the electricity supply, how the grouping of the wells can be connected, how a generator can be put in place, how we can reuse this uh, knowledge do we have it from surface and surface to generate electricity in part of the question is a, a new case and this comes related to this public information we have been using from the ANH that is uh, equivalent to the MPD um, regulatory agency thank you to the MPD I be here these days uh, with you on this ecosystem and this regulatory agency has open information that we, we can take it the geothermal gradient with related with the temperatures. We can take it uh, conditions of porosity, permeability, porosity that come related or the modeling that we have it. So we can screen fields, yes. We can uh, select energy sources, yes. We can uh, generate risk mass, yes. And now, so we can test and put together how we're going to make it this profitable and to be part of the question of the energy for the energy asset portfolio that we have it. So. That is something that today, from our integrate our petroleum energy perspective for more future, we working on the geothermal case. And that's an invitation today with this talk uh, on the knowledge that we should go deep, we should go hot, because we have resources to bring surface in the energy equation. Energy equation that today, with the different technologies that come related with the scenarios that we already know, that correlated with surface, with well intervention and completion, with design and facilities, submarine conditions, recovery and EOR and digital options. We can do a matrix with new materials, with the three printer options, with virtual reality, with twins, with computational learning, advanced analytics and micro data centers to put together all the different requisitions and options on the alternatives that we can make it. So, the understanding from the different seismic options to digital or the different sensors opportunity is something that we are working on. Here, the geothermal energy use is here. It's evolving. It's evolving faster. It's something that our different communities around the world trying to bring our aquifer, bright light understanding to hydrothermal or to enhance geothermal systems to put on the different case scenarios. With that, I would like to say to you, so clean on this going deep, going hot, and how we can put a geothermal case from the modeling to the development competences that we have today. With that, I would like to say thank you. Uh, this is my talk, open for questions.